Did you know that today is Friday? Finally Friday. Finally, <laughs> finally Friday. Well, these look very nice. Yep, they finally come in. They uh, are the nickel plated, so. They look really, really good. <laughs> so I got an important question. Uh-huh. How many of the blue handles do you have? I only have two left and one of them is sold. It's yours. So okay. you're more than welcome to that one if you want it. <laughs> well, I definitely want it because this is going to be our next giveaway. What we're going to do right okay. here. All right. So you got two of them and I'm taking both of them. All right. All right, guys. So before you run to the comments and try to enter this giveaway, pay attention to what I'm telling you. If you get a message from a Telegram app or any other source other than watching it on this video, on this channel, it ain't real. It's fake. Don't fall for it. I'll pay for the shipping. Don't send any money, any money. And unless you watch it on video, it didn't happen. So this is what we're going to do to get entered in the drawing for that ratchet. What we're going to do is I want to know in the comments what was your first tool truck purchase and what tool truck it come from. So if you bought a Snap-on FL80 from your Snap-on guy, put it in the comments. That's your first tool truck purchase. So that'll be kind of cool to kind of see where everybody goes. And so the rules are simple. You have to follow my channel. You have to subscribe. Let me make that clear. You have to subscribe. Like this video, leave in the comments what your first tool truck purchase is, and that will be the way that you enter the giveaway. So we'll give it three weeks. That way it gives people a chance to get in here, and we'll do a giveaway on that ratchet. And the date of that is the 22nd That's it. of September. So right there is what it looks like. It is a F or BFR128NLFX. So that's your part number. Yes, and so, um, on the part number, okay. remember that the X stands for the color. Okay. So if you want one of these, it would be B instead of an N. And okay. then instead of an X, it would be, you know, the B. But okay. So if you want a blue one, the last part number would be a FB. Yep. If you want the red, it would be a FR. The green would be a FG. Now here's where it gets tricky, guys. If you want the orange, it's not FO, it's yeah. FM. M as in mango. M stands for mango. So, and the purple is a FP. So if you want to buy one of these from your dealer, you can give him that part number, the BF. R128NLF and whatever the last number is, or sorry, letter would be the color. So yes. B for blue, R for red, G for green, M for orange, yeah. and P for purple. So there you go. <laughs> a little Matco part number history and a chance to win one of the newest, latest, greatest colors mm -hmm. Matco. So. Yeah. And, and it's good laid out like that. It's all kind of. Well, we wanted Fancy. all the colors out there, so. Looks great. You have a general idea of, you know, all that we can get. There you go. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys will enter that giveaway. Yep, so, that's the new tool for the week, I assume, is the. It is. The nickel, not black chrome, nickel finish. Yes. And then there's a black chrome sitting right there next to it, so if you can kind of, I think Michael went over with y'all. Sure. So, I'll pull it out, and we'll just do red on red since that's what I have right there. So you can kind of tell the matte versus the... Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Yeah, and you'll see the black chrome part number is BFR-128B-LFR. Right. So, so B... For black chrome and then N for nickel. So I'm gonna say that the 128 has something to do with the length. Yes, in that part uh, it's 12 inches. And what's the eight? Three eighths, maybe? Three eighths dry? Because yeah. is the half a different? We're finna learn something about some right, we're gonna part look. numbers. A little educational. I want to say it's the teeth, okay. right? Maybe is that's it right. Because right? that one's an eight, too. So maybe then that's what it is. 
So we know the next one, where it's a B, is going to be black finish, mm -hmm. the N's nickel, and I guess C is chrome. We'll I, know that answer. We'll uh, figure it out. Let's see. We'll just keep plugging along. I want to say that the chrome ones are just right. the number, so it'd be 128 yep. LF. So lock and flex and then there you color. Go. So chrome has no extra letter in it. Nope. We're going to decipher part numbers from companies for a long time. Exactly. Because in my opinion, Vim is the king of part numbers for their tools. Because like a perfect example, their wrench extender is a 15 inch wrench extender. Guess what their part number is? WE15. So wrench extender. How about it's, that, huh? That works. So they've got the best part numbers of every tool company, in my opinion, in the world. I mean, they simplify it. So, I mean, you kind of have a you know, okay, well, I think I know what this is going to sure. be, so let's just try to type that in. So. And poor old Mac. I ain't picking on Mac, but it is what it is, right? Mac's got the most complicated part numbers in the history of part numbers of any tool truck I've ever seen. I couldn't tell you. I've never been on one it's of It's like trucks. they take dice. It's got letters and numbers on it, and they take a handful of them and sling them across the floor, oh, and God. whatever it rolls up, that's the part number. So All right, I mean. For you Mac dealers or Mac fans, I'm sorry, but it is true. If you don't believe me, look up the part numbers for any RBRT set in the world. <laughs> it's confusing as all get out. So. Oh, goodness. So, it is what it is. All right, I'm through talking about your competitors. So oh, we'll, get back to the, we'll get back to the Matco world now. Now, we support all small businesses That's because right. people don't realize, and I'll throw this out there. So uh, Wednesday, we have a shop. It's just a small little tire shop. This guy gets on here. Now he's never been on a tool truck before. And that's one of the main things I ask when I'm setting somebody up an account is have you been on a tool truck before? Because he was complaining about one of the competitors wrench sets being a little bit too high. And I'm uh -huh. like, is that the first tool truck you've ever been on? And he's like, well, yeah, kind of. I'm like, okay. I said, well, you know, tool trucks are a little bit more expensive than if you go to Harbor Freight. Sure. But we're here every week, which he's seen that. And then I was like, if you have to warranty it, you come to us you don't have to run around town mm -hmm. fight with them i said you come to us and then we fight for you so anyways lost my train of thought <laughs> well what people forget too is the weekly payment thing right like exactly so what i was getting at is so he asked about the payment and he said um are you going to have this all in one do i do it once a month like i do my loan or do i do it weekly every time you show up and i said well most of the time we set it up on your pay scale so you get paid bi-weekly we set two payments up to run every two weeks which is fine if you get paid on fridays and we see you on monday we'll schedule it on friday so he asked about that i say okay we set it up every week so he wants to get paid well he gets paid every friday so he pays his payment we just went through this morning and he'll start doing that every week well in the meantime he said are y'all are they gonna let y'all off monday and I said, who's they? He said, the people that's on the side of your truck, Maco, are they going to let you off Monday? <laughs> he didn't realize y'all owned it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but... Because he had never really been sure. in this world. So I was like, well, I guess I can go in there and ask Michael if he's going to let me off Monday, you know, because, I mean, we own it. We're on this part of the franchise. And he's like, oh, y'all actually own these? And I was like, yeah. And he, it blew his mind that we actually own the tool truck. He and said, I think oh. a lot of people, they don't realize that or they forget it. You exactly. Know, Which I know there's some areas that have like corporate trucks. And yeah. I think that's all different brands have corporate trucks. I've never seen one, so I couldn't tell you. But I know that there is a distributor that's Maco that has a Snap-on competitor that's a corporate Snap-on. I guess that it's just a Snap-on employee that runs yeah. the truck. But they don't own the truck. Sure. But the Maco competitor that they're running up against is like us and we own our franchise. So we have this area, we service our customers to the best of our abilities. And you know, it just, it kind of helps out whenever they realize that this is ours. Sure. Because they're like, oh, so if I don't pay for this, Maco's not coming after me, y'all are? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. So they kind of, understand it at that point why their payments are just a little bit more than if they went through like a credit account or something like right. that but it's well, kind of fun thing, you know like i wouldn't have the tools that i have if it wasn't for the ability to make payments on it you know speaking exactly. of making payments uh-huh how close am i to getting a box done 
Because oh. I know that day is coming. It's like I'm counting down the minutes to, it's a done Well, deal. I'm gonna say that you're gonna make your payment today of your normal. Uh huh. And then you're gonna have it paid off next week. Next week. And I, if I call in to get actual payoff, I think you might pay off today. Oh, look at that. It's so, so like a big day today. Exactly. So, there you know, go. Michael has the simple interest, yep. which Michael's my, my finance person. So I'm, I always look at him like, okay, Michael has simple interest, right? Not compounded. <laughs> Just to make sure, because I don't want to get it confused. Because sure. a lot of people, I mean, that determines if they want that box or not. Yep. So, you know, you bought your box. Maco does simple interest, which means you paid more each payment, which means you paid your box off early. And then the reason I said I'm gonna call in for payoff is because you don't pay interest. So whatever, you know, whatever it is at that point, Ooh, you don't have to pay. Let's cross our fingers today is the day and then hey, it's a done deal. Call and find out. And I finally get to say that is truly 100% my box. It is. You know, and it's funny, like everybody thinks that, like when I do the giveaways in these ratchets, that Matco's supplying that. No, you bought it off our truck. <laughs> you make that payment. So <laughs> there you go. You hear it from the horse's mouth. I pay for the box and I pay for the tools that I give away to you guys. So it's not some kind of smoke and mirrors oh. or as other people call shields or whatever they want to determine. But if you pay for the tools, you know, it is what it is. Exactly. But, I believe in the Matco ratchets. That's why we do a giveaway on them. And this one's really good because those things are rare. As you These see, are. she's only got two and I'm getting both of them. So but. there's that. <laughs> All right, guys, get in the giveaway. Like always, thanks for watching and hanging out with us. It's finally Friday. Hopefully you will enjoy your weekend. We got a Monday off, thank God. Yes, we are taking off Monday. That's a great thing. <laughs> All right, guys, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch you later. See ya.